Hey love bugs, it's Ross, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing, extended, beautiful family. Just thank you so much for being there, being patient with me, watching some of my old videos that you haven't been able to catch up with. Well, you haven't caught up with or if you're just coming in and subscribing, you've probably been going through the videos and seeing what things you relate to so I greatly appreciate it of that and thank you so much for dropping all the comments and you know worrying about me I'm, I'm so grateful for that I really love y'all um, for just you know just reaching out to me asking hey Rosalind what's going on whatever so with that being said thank you so much for all that namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe you can hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video and you know if you are comfortable now please go ahead and drop me a line or two i love the chance to get uh the positive feedback even if it's about the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and head you towards a positive direction and if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one or a friend please go ahead and do so and while you're at it go ahead and like and share and on any social media where you see fit and thank you so much for stopping by the channel and as always thank you enough for showing love and support towards me and as well as the channel and i hope that you'll continue to stay on and be connected with me and this beautiful um meditation music i'm listening to today is called aura cleansing uh boost positive perspective energy uh balancing all chakras and chakra healing you know i need to do that i haven't you know meditated in a few days so i'm just you know i need to go ahead and get back in the swing of things and today my video is about twin flame one-on-one hey oka's going through the you know going through the breakdown it's just like a lot of us i don't know if you've been experienced but especially through the holidays you know sometimes people get uh really happy during the holidays, Christmas holidays, and it just depends on if you have things going, you know, going on, whatever. You know, um, I really don't care for the holidays too much because it's like, you know, I'm still going through that situation of, you know, losing my father, even though it's been like almost close to three years. But, you know, it was a constant reminder of me, you know, being really around family because it's like, you know, it's not really family oriented. But, I was blessed to actually, you know, see the holidays. You know, I just didn't want to be feeling all blues about it because it's just like if you don't have the loved ones there, um, you know, it's, it's kind of like a depressing thing or whatever, you know, melancholy, whatever you want to call it, somber moment. But it was just like a blessing to see a new year, you know, another Christmas, um, and expect, you know spend that time with my kids or whatever but it's just like you know the universe has taught me so much it was just like on that break you know if you know you've been with me for a while and you you know you've been y'all been so supportive and i love y'all for that um y'all know that i usually do daily videos i usually do like four or five you know do it live you know at some times but i had to just cut everything off because when universe tells you to take self-care you want to do self-care um it was just like uh, going you know if there's women that are watching my video that you had children it, it would probably make me feel like you were going through you know um nesting you know you clean and all those things so it's just like that's gonna be another video so I'm trying not to touch that subject but it's just like we're going through so many symptoms you know um you probably were tired um you probably have flu like symptoms you know sore throat I went through a lot of sore throat um issues it was just like where to the point where I couldn't really talk I mean my my brain was like fogged up like the it was like like Missy said, brr, duh. <laughs> Missy Elliott. You know, I went through those moments. Like, you know, it was universe telling me that Rosalind, that's your your time for you to just, you know, take a break. And it was just like it drove me crazy. And I felt so bad, you know, and the people that stayed connected with me, they were like, Rosalind, you do need to take a break. You know, you have been there above and beyond for us. And it's just like, you know, these videos were my outlet. 
on, you know, things that were going on with my life. You know, finding out you're a Hayoka, it can be a blessing and a curse. Because the beautiful blessing is, is that when I was blessed to be able to make these videos. Because I had to make these videos at first going on, you know, it's going on two years. In a couple of weeks, it'll be two, you know, two years that I've been doing this. And it, it was just like, you know, there's people like, well, like, how did you find out you were a Hayoka? Having weird dreams. And, you know, I had a lot of those. I still have a lot of them. It's like, even though I, it's going on like my third month, like my third month. If I think about it, yeah, my third month of not smoking marijuana. I've been having dreams about smoking marijuana. And I'm just like, oh, God, I'm so sorry. And I wake up having the munchies. And I'm just like, what the hell? <laughs> you know, and I'm just like, I don't even think about it like that. But it was like in my dreams, I was still dealing with that that struggle and that issue. And I can just like, I can smell it in the air. And it's like, ugh. You know, it stinks so good, but then I'm just like, oh my God, that really stinks. Or, you know, um, haven't really craved a cigarette at all. Because it's like, if I smell a cigarette, I'm just like, oh my God, that, that really stinks. Like, ooh, I can't deal with it. And don't even have a care in the world. Didn't even have a drink for New Year's. Didn't have a drink for the holidays. It's been a while. You know, it's not like I was an alcoholic, but it was like on the weekends, that would be my time to relax. So it's like, I want me a glass of wine or... Um, or a wine cooler or whatever. I said, I don't judge people that do it, you know, because to each his own. You know, some people deal with that. But as an empath, that was my downfall. That was my downfall. Other than dealing with a lot of anger issues, I was dealing with substance abuse. And, you know, I don't down people for that because it's just a fact is we always got to go through something to get to it. And it, it's just like, you know, you're, you know, you're, you're a good empath or a good helka if you never had to have a pill for depressant, um, marijuana, or any kind of, you know, stronger drugs than that, or even alcohol, you know, and I tell people, there are some people that have just connected with me, and they're like, Rosalind, I'm on this, I'm on that, and it's just like, you know, I don't judge anyone, because it's like, bad enough as it is, you know, we, we feel like we're being judged as it is, you know, being an empath, because we take things really hard at times, you know, so it's a hard thing to deal with, so it's just like going through these breakdowns, you know, not like a mental breakdown, but, you know, you it seems like you're probably, um, dealing with a lot of different emotions, you know, dreams are getting very intensified, um, going through the the hot and cold flashes probably should you know me I'm, I'm like shedding skin a lot you know it just feels pretty even though I can take a shower and then I put like the my body oils on um just to lubricate my skin or whatever and it's like gritty I'm just like oh my god I thought I scrubbed all this dead skin off and then there's more that I'm dealing with I'm just glad I'm not breaking out like I was because you know you've been with me for a while I was showing y'all my rash and I was like oh my god that's just so gross you know but it's just like I guess it was like me detoxing my body from all the things that I put in it and it's like you know I'm very grateful for that you know the things that I went through even though it was hard because there's a lot of things like I said before in my other video there's people I had to let go of um and it wasn't healthy and it's just like you know with your you being a hayoka and being an empath there's at times you know we we go towards the underdog because we know what it feels like to be at that point where we've been through a lot of abuse um it can either be through uh a, you know significant other or family member co-worker friend boss you, you know you don't want to do some things and it's like I had to find that self-worth in my life to where you know these are not good habits to have you know, we only can help people so much, but they have to be willing to help themselves. And I tell anybody, especially if you're new, I don't. I love doing one-on-ones with people because I know that there's times where people are not comfortable enough to want to, you know, have their business out there. And I, which I understand. And I tell people it's not like to look down at them or whatever. It's just like because of my past experiences before. I said I love to help people, but you have to be willing to help yourself. And I'm not saying that you're a lazy person, but I put that out there because I'm not the type of person that's going to tell you things that you want to hear. I'm going to tell you the things that you need to hear. You know, they might be downright blunt, but I try to be, you know, cautious of the message that I try to bring out towards people. So I don't want nobody taking offense saying, oh my gosh, she's being really bitchy. And it's not that, but it's just like you need to know. 
what you're going through, what you expect of me, what that you're going to, you know, what you expect to deal with me on how I deal with things. You know, I try to be blunt, but, you know, I'm the type of person that's being very direct, but I don't, you know, I try to go, you know, towards it, towards the way, so I'm not hurting anybody's feelings, or I'm not being disrespectful or whatever. But, you know, we're going through this breakdown to where there's things that we have to let go of. There's people we need to detach from. There's habits that we need to detach from, you know, looking at, at things in a perspective. Because, you know, last year was really hard for a lot of people, especially if you're going through these awakenings. You're dealing with so many things. You're going through a lot. And it's just like, you know, people can be sensitive about, you know, the things that are being projected towards them. You know, so it's just a lot of things we have to really look at. And it's just like, I know the universe can really crack down on us. And it can be dark humor. They will bring people in your lives and like, okay, why are you bringing these people in my life? Where well, obviously I got to push them away. Because in some, certain situations, you have to be able to let go of certain things. You know, you can't go about them the other way. Because it's just like, you know, I can give people chances. Some people, like, you know, you have to give first and second chances. But it's just like, you have to know when enough is enough. You have to be able to let go, disconnect when you have to, especially if it's bringing toxic energy towards you and things are not changing. You have to be able to let go of those things. So it's just like you're going through these breakdowns because of everything that we're integrating from. You know, we, 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 we're turning over a new leaf. We're starting a new year over. So you can't be going about things that you probably went through last year or the year before because that was our lesson, our blessings. You know, the things that we have to learn throughout in life that we need to come into or we need to, you know, step away from. So, you know, if this message is for you, you know, just letting you know, things will get better. You know, I tell people that all the time. I go through my things left and right, but I have to get to that point where I can't, you know, when I get frustrated, I'm just like, God, I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to go home. You know, we're probably having that incident. like there are certain places that you're getting drawn to. Um, you know, it's like with my dad, it, it's just like a really hard situation. Like if you haven't seen, you know, if you're just, just uh, you know, subscribing to me, I really, really, you know, ask a lot of people, especially if you're new towards my channel, look at the intro. So it's like when the things that I tell you, you know, then you'll get a perspective of like, oh, okay, this is what she's going through, you know, because a lot of people that have not seen my intro, and they, when they're like, oh my God, you're this and this and this and that, I was like, oh, you didn't watch the intro, did you? I always tell people watch the intro so you understand why I start making my videos, why I do the things that I do, why am I going about things the way I have to go through them. Um, what, what kind of lessons did I learn out of my harsh reality of being who I am, being who I'm related to, um, being a Hayoka, Twin Flame, Indigo, White Witch, INFJ, <laughs> you know, just all those type of things that I've went through that I try to cover bases for because a lot of people are going through these things. They have a lot of questions. Sometimes we have more, you know, uh, we're, we're getting a lot of answers, but then there's doubling up on questions that we have to deal with so it's just like things we go through we have to get through it to get to it so it's just like I've been up doing a lot of reflecting you know I'm probably sending off crazy energy and I'm hoping and praying it's very positive to y'all because I really I, I really feel blessed I mean I feel weird and it feels different you know if you've been with me for a while I probably got I'm like Rosalyn what happened but it's all positive you know, I'm going through things, and I mean, I'm blessed from all my experiences that I've had in the last, like, month. You know, things just really hit me hard to where I had to disconnect from, you know, social media, you know, because it was just like, if you, you're friends with me on Facebook, I like, if I, you're not getting my videos and I'm not doing that one-on-one -on -one with you, I try to at least put positive po posts out there just to let you know, don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on the things that you're running after. You know, things we put in our lives to test us and bless us at the same time. And it's just like, universe is going to test you on certain things that we bring in people from your past that, that needs that closure that you're getting that from. Um, 
things will come to you that were your weak points just to see if you're going to go back to that habit. So, you know, you have to keep your eyes peeled up for, you know, things that are coming into your life, things that you're getting tested on, the people that are probably coming back and it's like a rotating door, like, oh God, why are they coming back? Because I've had that also. And it's just like, you have to be able to say, no, I can't do that. You cannot feel selfish about saying no. Sometimes I hate saying no because I really feel bad you know and I tell people especially when I had to take off for like that month you know people that are really close to me just you know stays in touch and I'm like girl you got to do for you you've done so many things that have brought you know so many answers to my life you know knowing that I'm not the only one that's going through this you know I cry when I get some of y'all's messages because they're so heartfelt because I feel that energy coming through you know and I'm grateful for that um, to be going through these, this journey with you because just to let you know you're not alone. You're not going through this alone. Even though sometimes we feel like we are, we're not alone. So, you know, I hope this message finds somebody to their heart, confirmation, validations that let you know things are going to be okay. We're going through so much hell, but, you know, they put their, their toughest soldiers towards that test to let you know, you know, this is something you signed up for. These are things that you're doing that you had to go through to get to that person, be that better version of your life. You know, looking at things in a different perspective to let you know, you know, things aren't like they used to be because you're not the same person you were yesterday, last week, or last year. So, you know, blessings are coming towards your way. And while you're getting blessed, you should be able to pass them on. Send love and light positivity towards anybody that, you know, that needs that right now. Even when you feel like they don't need it, you know, people are sitting your life to hurt, hurt you. Bless them. Pray for them. You know, because that's when you get blessings back. You know, that's when you get prayers. Um, good, better energy. You know, when you're able to let go of toxic things and you know, narcissistic things that came into your life that, you know, were meant to break you, but you didn't. So, you know, I hope this message, you know, this, you know, it, it, it hits home for people, like, in a positive way. But I hope that, you know, that y'all are finding your ways in life is, you know, knowing it's a blessing. So that's it for y'all today. Um, I'm going to try to make another video. I'm probably, you know, I'm trying to see if I can make another video. Because I noticed that I'm, I've been doing my videos like 15, 20 minutes right now. So I know it's going to take so long to download, upload these videos. But, you know, the message is for the message. So I hope everybody stays blessed, prosperous, and um, hopeful for a better tomorrow. Especially if you're going through anything right now. And send out much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that, you know, you are blessed, you are highly favored and truly loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And much love to everybody. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give me a post notification shout out. I forgot to do it in my last video. Um, let me see who I'm going to put out. Um, uh, let me see, let me see. Tutor me, much love to you, many blessings, love and light to you, namaste, and uh, loving energy, blessed energy, and prosperous, uplifting energy, I'm sending out to y'all, I miss y'all, so go ahead and like and subscribe if you have not subscribed already, already. drop me a line or two, I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, you know, drop me a line, even if it's about the positive feedback, the content of the video, or you're just telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacts your life, and you towards a positive direction, and for the next video, Video. I will see you later. Much love to you. Peace. Happy New Year's and be wild. Out.